Hello guys, welcome to Jehook and in today's session we are going to troubleshoot the docker copy error command. Uh, this issue we get while we are trying to use the docker copy or docker add command. Here in this lab session I have prepared some of the scenarios where I have faced this issue. So I am going to discuss this scenario and we are going to troubleshoot those issues. Okay, to begin with this is on the left hand side you can see this is my editor which I am using and this is my docker file. I have kept the docker file very simple where I am trying to use only the copy command of docker and and here you can see this is the path from where I am trying to copy. So in this case I am trying to copy the jar file. So this is the name of my jar file that is jhook uh, uh, demo 0.0.1 snapshot.jar and I am trying to copy with the name as app.jar. So while trying I am renaming it to the app.jar okay and this is a very simplest uh, docker file i have kept so that i can explain where and what are the different cases where we face this issue okay so start with i'm looking for the path here first of all so look at this path build slash lips so i am looking this file this complete jar file under the build and lips directory okay so this is my project structure uh, this is a Java project, but in your case, it can be any different uh, technology stack like Node.js, Angular, PHP, or whatever. Okay, so here this is my project structure, and that can differ from your project structure also, but always remember the path. Okay, so here I am referring to build and then live, and I should have this jar file over here. So as you can see, this file is available over here. Okay, so first we are going to see the positive scenario where I don't get this issue. Alright, so I'm going to run simple my docker copy command. Okay, this is the docker build, not docker copy. I'm just going to run docker build command because I'm going to prepare the docker image. Okay, so I'm just going to hit enter. So what it's going to do, it's going to pick this jar file and it's going to rename it to app.jar and copy and paste it there. And as you can see, this has successfully built and tagged it to this name because I'm tagging it with the name uh, jhook hello world. Okay, so this command went successful without an error. Okay, so this is the first scenario. And here in this guide on the right hand side, this is the guide which I have prepared. I'll put the link of this guide into the description section also so you can come back and refer. But first scenario is you need to look for the source path if it is incorrect. Okay, so how can it cause this issue? So first of all, let's manipulate this path and I'm going to remove the lips path from here. Okay, so that means I'm looking for this file under the build directory and that actually doesn't exist. On the left hand side, if you'll see, it exists under the lips directory, not under the build directory. Okay, so I'll clear the screen over here and I'm going to rerun this command again. Okay, so now it's going to build the whole Docker file and going to tag it again. So it's going to again going to go to the build and then look for that jar file. And here you can see a copy failed error, which I'm getting. Okay, so this is my first scenario where this issue can come where your path is incorrect. So you need to go back to your Docker file, check the paths if your paths are correct and you're trying to copy the correct uh, file from the correct file location so that's the first scenario so please correct your path and here i'm gonna correct it uh, it's better i'll do undo okay so this is the correct path and after that it should work fine moving further the second scenario i'm gonna discuss is the incorrect file so what does it mean by the incorrect file i'll clear the screen over here so here on this uh, uh, docker file you can see this is the file name that is jhook docker demo and this is the version okay so generally what happens is like when you're trying to write some docker uh, file you generally use some uh, version name in your project so most of the cases developer makes a mistake they forget to update the version so this is the like 0.0.1 and accidentally i have put the version let's say 2 over here okay so now I'm, what I'm expecting over here is I'm expecting build lips and I should have a file with the version 0.0.2 but actually it doesn't exist. It's still 0.0.1. Okay. So that means our file name is incorrect which we are trying to look for. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rerun this command again and we should get the same issue again over here. 
once it built this whole docker image so here you can see copy failed state and this is the issue which we are getting no such a file or directory that that clearly says there is no such file or directory so in this case we are into this scenario no such file because yeah the file name is incorrect okay so what you need to do is you need to correct this file name and this is the correct file name i'll clear the screen at the bottom and i'm gonna rerun this command and it should uh, actually build this successfully and here you can see it has built successfully okay so this is my second scenario all right moving to the third scenario this scenario is little tricky and uh, i really don't have a very good example over here to demonstrate it but anyway i'm going to explain it so in some of the cases uh, once you write your docker file so you specify your build as build over here and you refer to this variable throughout this docker file so in such a scenario if you have such a variable name and your docker file then try to see and find those references if there is a mismatch in those references or not if there is then please go and check okay moving further the scenario number four that is docker ignore there is a one file which is called docker ignore and which tells you to ignore the certain path uh, inside your project structure to not to be included while you're running some docker commands or docker file commands okay so here you can see this is my docker ignore file which is existing over here in this my project structure and here i have mentioned like uh, build as well as this path so both are uh, pointing to the build directory okay so that means uh, docker is going to ignore this uh, directory paths so if there is anything inside this directory so it is completely going to ignore it so if you have any copy command which is like using that particular path like here in this case we are used defining build so in that case it is not going to look for that build directory because we have excluded those build directories from our docker ignore file so in that case is your uh, docker build or you will get this issue again because it's not able to find that file as well as the directory because we have ignored it so go back and check your docker ignore file also whether it's uh, there is some entries which is excluding your path from where you are trying to copy the file all right uh, moving to the next scenario that is a little specific to java project but you can relate it to your own project also so what happens over here uh, if you see the color of this uh, directories these are little orange because these are like a compile code of my java application this is a java application which i need to compile and then i get this jar file so if you are from a java background then you will understand this but to get this jar file i need to compile my complete java project then i will be able to find this uh, jar file inside my project okay so first of all i'm gonna just delete this build directory that is my compiled code so i'm just gonna delete it okay so there is no more file uh, like this jar file existing anywhere so if i'm gonna run this command uh, i'm gonna go to the terminal i'll clear the screen and i should get this issue again because this build directory doesn't exist okay so i'm going to show you how we can troubleshoot so here you can see uh, this copy failed error which i got all right so what has happened over here is like i didn't compile my project so i didn't compile that means i didn't get my compiled code so first of all i need to compile my project okay so go to gradle this is my build tool it can be maven in uh, java also there is a one more build tool which is quite uh, popular but anyway i'm just gonna compiling my code once it's compiles i'll get this build directory over again here again so if you have something similar structure where you need to compile the code and your docker file is somehow dependent on that uh, compile piece of code then you need to compile your code and check the paths okay so here as you can see this uh, compilation has been successful and once this is successful then i get the build directory and inside that i get a lips and i get the file okay so if you go back to our terminal here you will see that we got this issue uh, when we didn't compile the code now i have compiled and I, i'm gonna rerun this command and it should uh, go successful this time i guess okay so it's compiling and here you can see this is successful okay so the 
point which I want to convey over here is if you have something similar setup where you need to compile your project again and again, then please go and check your Docker file if it is somehow dependent on the compilation of your code. If it is, then go ahead, clean the previous uh, compile build, delete it, recompile the project and rerun the Docker, uh, Docker build command or whatever Docker command you are using. Okay, so these are my five scenarios where I face, uh, where I feel like these are the most possible scenarios where any developer can face this uh, Docker copy failed error. So I hope this uh, uh, five scenarios are useful to you and it might help you to troubleshoot your issue with the Docker. And if you are interested into similar content, then please go back and check my web blog that is jhook.com. And also you can go back and check my channel that is uh, Rahul Vag. And also you can search with the jhook where I keep on posting similar content on DevOps, Kubernetes and uh, Helm open source technology such as Spring Boot. So go back and check. Uh, I have some similar lab sessions over there for Kubernetes and DevOps. And thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, see you in the next session.